Another deer goes by, another deer season. Another deer, another freezer full of venison. That's right, and then everyone has it all ground up. Ground up, it and comes that is, way, doesn't it? This is, I think so. Yeah, right. And this is another one of those recipes that you can uh, use ground meat. And this is what, John, this is just the most fun recipe. The end result is just pretty to look at and good to eat. What's venison you call? pinwheels. Well, I don't think a pinwheel. I don't. I, they, this is going to be a surprise. Yeah, well, aren't they all? Well, yes, true. Aren't? Yeah. But you, you but, know, you said you you were telling me earlier that pinwheels. When you say pinwheels, you think it's got to be dessert. Some kind of sweet something. Yeah. yeah. No, you're you're going to see. Pinwheel. We've taken about a pound to a pound and a half of ground venison. To that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of mustard. Okay. And a package of onion soup mix, that dry, you know, got no that problem dry so far. onion soup mix. Put that in there. Yeah. Oh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. That might be a little more than a teaspoon, but that's okay. <laughs> Never has happened before, has it? Right. No. No. Of course, ground no, black no. pepper. And then we are just going to cook this and brown until it gets brown. You don't have to add any water to it? To no, the no, we're browning it. Oh, it's uh, yeah, oh, no, see that, that moisture in that. Yeah. And you just, so, you're actually using this soup as a flavor more than, a, you're uh -huh. not making a soup, you're using oh, it as yeah, a okay. flavor, as a seasoning. Okay. So we're going to brown this, and then comes the next step. Super. See how those, uh, see this meat's all browned, and, and yep. see how the onions got reconstituted and cooked up like yep. onions in that. But nothing about it looks like a pinwheel just yet. Just be patient. Just okay. be patient. We're gonna have, we're gonna have pinwheels. Nope. Once your meat's brown, then you're gonna take about two cups of this shredded cheese. Now I like to use the Mexican one because it has all these different. Cannot lose in there. It. Absolutely not. We're just gonna dump that in oh, this the whole, meat, the whole kitten caboodle. You want it to it's melt? It's about two cups. Well, just, it, it'll sort of be melted. Just stir you know. It in. Yeah, we're just going to stir it in. See, I've taken this off the heat. Okay. And then we just stir this around. Now comes the pinwheel part. Pinwheel John. on the way. Well, we're going to take one of these flour tortillas like this. Okay. Take some sour cream and spread that all over this tortilla. Now, you'll notice that I'm not using fat free. <laughs> but you could. There and that a, is more than a dollop. Oh, it's, it's just a kind of a dollop. A dollop and a half. Yeah. But you're going to see this is going to be good When does a dollop become good. a blob? Well, pretty close to right here. About right there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then we take some of this mixture, some of this cheese and uh, yes. meat mm -hmm. mixture. Spread that all around. Uh-huh. On your tortilla. Uh huh. Then we take some salsa. All right. And you just put a dollop of salsa here and dollop. a dollop of salsa there. Uh -huh. However much you like. Uh -huh. You know, it doesn't matter if you like a little. If you like hot, put hot. If you like mild, put mild. Yeah. Then we pinwheel it. Oh. I know what you're going to do now. You're going to cut you it. You do. Then we're going to cut, let's see, let's start right here. Okay. We're going to cut these, and then we're going to cut them, oh, I'm going to say about an inch thick. Then what I do is take a toothpick, uh -huh. stick it in there, and put it on the plate. Yeah. And then you just repeat this process until all your meat's gone or all your tortillas are gone or until you get tired. Or if I happen to be standing here until all your pinwheels are gone. Exactly. And uh -huh. that's why I have this knife in case you eat too soon. <laughs> With a big wide flat side. <laughs> that's uh -huh. exactly right. Oh, me. You, you heard dollop. Well, you know what dollop is. You know what wallop is? Wallop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to be a wallop. Anyway, that's all. You just keep repeating the process until, um, until they're uh, ready. Now, let me show you something else that you can do. That's pretty fancy with this. stuff. With what it. you can do when you start out is fold this end over, do it like this, and then serve them whole like this as dinner. Oh, so man. people, you can actually eat these as dinner. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. they don't have to be necessarily appetizers. Oh, So these yeah. are called venison pinwheels. So now they're, and it's not even going to be hot. Oh, good. So you, you take one off of that if you Isn't want to and try that. 
I and I'm going to tell you how to do these because they are so simple and you can use them for dinner or you can use them for appetizers, either one. Take about a pound of ground venison, uh, put about a tablespoon of just prepared mustard and a package of uh, onion soup mix in there. Uh, brown that. just, And then you're going to put a little garlic powder and a little pepper. Brown that until it gets brown. Remove that from the heat. Then stir in about two cups of any kind of cheese. If you like cheddar cheese, use cheddar. I happen to like this four cheese mix. Mexican cheese. Stir that in there. Take your flour tortilla, spread it out, put sour cream over the top of uh, that, put your meat mixture, then dollop salsa. You know, if you have happen to have avocados or anything else you'd like to put on there, you can do that. Roll it up, slice them into pinwheels, put a toothpick in them because that just holds them together a little bit, and you serve them up. Fellas? These will impress some people. I you promise. don't, and you didn't. I mean, you didn't think it would be that good, did you? No, it's really good, yeah. real good. And, mm -hmm. and it's a real fun thing to do for parties, or as I said, you can do just leave the tortilla whole, roll them up, and then serve them for dinner with a the salad, and you got a great big dinner. Uh huh. Venison pinwheels. Mm mm.